Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shelly here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me, a little chit chat, bougie get ready with me. Um, I was shopping for some new makeup because what else am I going to do as a beauty vlogger but buy makeup because I'm not getting no sponsors as yet. As yet we're going to speak it into existence because of course out of all the money that I'm spending, I want some free makeup, I'm not gonna lie, so whatever, but um, <laughs> um, today I'm just gonna be doing this bougie, when I say bougie you guys, I mean super bougie because I'm using like mostly, if not all, really expensive heightened makeup in this makeup tutorial, um, I, there's a couple of stuff that I didn't have new, so of course I had to improvise and use what I have, but I think for the most part, there's a lot of new products that I use today, so it's like 90% new products, 10% a little bit of what I already had, um, so if you guys are interested in seeing what I got and how I created this look, please continue to watch, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and yeah, let's get into the tutorial. I hope y'all miss me like I miss y'all. <laughs> Start with my brows, and I'm not gonna do my brows on camera because it just doesn't make any kind of sense for you guys to sit here and watch me do my brows for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna use for my brows, and then we'll see how I like it, how I don't like it, whatever the case is, because I am gonna film a brow tutorial, and I'm probably gonna try to film that video this week. So yeah, um, what I'm going to use for my brows is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. You guys should know what this looks like already because everybody and their mother have it except for me. So I finally got my hands on it and I am using it in the shade, I think number six. Yeah, I think I'm using it. Yeah, I'm using it in the shade number six. And look at the, the pencil, you guys. Isn't this bougie like... Is this bougie or what? Your river give you a it's bad and, bougie. and then I really like this because it comes with a spoolie. To tell y'all the truth, I prefer my NYX eyebrow pencil. What next should I do? I'm going to do my eyes because I don't think I'm going to do nothing too crazy to my eyes. I'm not using a new eyeshadow palette. However, I'm going to be using the Cheers to Beauty um, eyeshadow palette from Colored Rain. So I'm going to start off with um, this color called Powder Room. And it's this color, that color right there. It's like a really neutral color and I don't know if it's going to sh show up on me. It's, it has a slight pink undertone that I don't care for on my skin tone. If you guys can tell that hint of pink that it has, but I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. So, I have a backup palette. I have the um Queen of Hearts palette. This one, this is the first one that came out that I actually really like. And I'm going to take the shade called Royal Prerogative. It's like this neutral brown shade right here. I'm going to use that as my transition shade. I wish I had used this shade at first. So what have you guys been doing? Like what's been up? How have you guys been for the past couple of weeks? I want to do a Q&A maybe this week or next week. So what I want you guys to do is if there's anything that you would like to know about me, leave them, um, leave your questions in the comments down below and I'll see how many, how many comments I have probably by Friday and then if it's like 15, 20 questions, I'll go ahead and do a QA and a um, on Friday for you guys. I'm going to go into this brick color called Debonair this one right here and I'm just gonna put that color right in my crease I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna concentrate that color right in here I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in my video but I added one more lighting to my filming setup so if it looks a little bit off, I'm still playing around with it. This is my first time filming with it. So I'm editing the video. I'll see how it looks and what adjustments I need to make. I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild concealer. And this is in the shade Medium Tawny. 
I'm just going to use this to cut my crease but I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand because the the, the, the doe foot applicator of this is too big and I don't want it to make a mess of my eyes. So I'm just going to use that on a flat brush and cut my crease. And I'm just going to use my finger to kind of pat the concealer dry. This helps it to not transfer and then because it's slightly tacky, the product will just stick to it. Use a flat brush, a flat brush, and take this color right here. It's like an iridescent um, eyeshadow, but it kind of looks white in the palette. It's called Luxury Bling. I thought it was white, but when I swatched it, it's kind of like an iridescent eyeshadow. And I'm just going to put that right on my lid. And then um, sometimes when you do your cut crease like this, right in this area just tends to look a little bit messy. It doesn't give you that sharp look. So what you can do is take a really tiny brush. This is from Real Techniques. And take your same eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the same brick color right here. It looks red, but it's kind of like a brick color. And I'm just going to concentrate this right in this area just to make my cut crease look super sharp. That's what we got for now. It's not looking too bad. I'm going to line it though. I'm going to spice it up. I'm going to spice it up. But I'm going to move on to the face for a little while and then I'll go back to the eyes later on. I just want to get my foundation and stuff out of the way. And I'm really excited about this part because yeah I'm super excited about this part so I don't really have a lot of fallout to clean up I don't really get a lot of fallout whenever I use the colored rain eyeshadow palette that's the one thing that I love about those palettes um, a lot of times people tell you that the more pigmented the eyeshadows are the more fallout they have I don't experience that with my colored rain eyeshadow palette and that's the reason why I don't believe in that theory so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and what I'm gonna use to prime my face today is this milk makeup blur stick I'm gonna use this in conjunction with the Dr. Dr. Brands um, luminizer primer this is supposed to be like a so this is supposed to help with your pores so it's called the pores no more luminizer primer by dr prince it's a sample that i got in like a goodie bag or something so uh, i think i want to concentrate this first the milk makeup blur stick i want to concentrate this first in my t-zone so i'm gonna put it right here in this area this is where i get really large pores but when I was buying this the girl was telling me that it's really good to also smooth your skin so I have a little bit of a texture on my forehead not too much I don't know if you guys noticed but I, I don't know for some reason I feel a little bit down today my energy is not there like it usually is I, I don't know what's going on but yeah it feels smooth, but my e.l.f. my e.l.f. smoothing primer feels smoother, and my pores does not look. They don't. They don't look blurred or whatever. They. They. I can still see my crazy looking pores. So I'm gonna use this other primer from Doctor <clears throat> from Doctor Brent and see if this helps. This is a lot. I can still see my pores, so I don't know what that did as well, but let's move on to the foundation part of the video. Um, what I'm going to use for foundation today is the Dior Forever Full Coverage 24-hour um, long wearing foundation. I got this in the shade 50, so... That's what I'm going to be using today. I really like this bottle. That's what it looks like. 
I really really like this bottle and I think I matched this foundation to my MAC NC 50 foundation and it was almost the same color so this should be a good match for me and it's so weird you guys because I bought this online and I didn't know what shade I was based on the picture I just chose this shade and I don't think there's another shade that can match me better than this shade it does smell a little bit like perfume but I've never used anything from Dior before this is my first Dior makeup item I'm gonna use this bougie <laughs> makeup sponge blending sponge to blend it out this is from real techniques i got this from walmart and i was like if i'm gonna be doing a bougie makeup tutorial i need something bougie to apply my foundation and <laughs> i found this in the drawer i bought this a few weeks ago and i did i never used it before so it feels matte once i blend it out i can tell you guys that much um Somebody was asking me in under one of my videos, after I do my edges, how do I not make the makeup like mess up everything or whatever case is? I just blend around it. I don't know. There's no special trick to not getting your edges messed up. Just try not to go too close, but then at the same time, try not to stay too far away because you don't want to have any gaps between your hairline and your makeup because then it's just gonna look crazy this foundation is really nice I like it so for concealer I'm gonna be using the NARS radiant creamy concealer I have this in the shade caramel try today because my sister sealed the deal for me on this concealer she tried it and she was like you have to try it so here I am being influenced by this child to buy makeup I feel like it's always all the way around because I'm always telling her what to buy. <laughs> this color is really nice. I love a yellow undertone concealer. This sponge is really annoying because all the ridges and the edges, the, all the edges, just creates a whole lot of lines on your face. So, do I like it? Yes. Would I recommend it? Hmm. Speaking of Laura Mercier, I repurchased another powder because I ran out of this twice already. This is my third bottle. This is actually my fourth bottle because I have it in medium deep, which I'm not too fancy about. But I'm just going to use that to set my concealer. I'm going to let that bake for a little while. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face, add a little bit of color back into my skin and what I'm going to be using for that is this bronze goddess powder from Estee Lauder this you guys like I was walking and I seen this on the shelf and I was like what is that and my mom was like what is that that looks so good so I seen this and I really liked it because it's perfect for my skin tone I'm just going to use this to bronze up my face And of course I've never used this before so I don't know how it looks on my skin. I don't know how it looks on camera but in the pan it looks dark but I don't feel like it's coming off on my skin as dark as, as how it looks. Yeah it's not, it's not coming off like dark. I'm going to use a different brush. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's the brush that I was using. I don't know how I feel about this powder, but to set my overall face, I'm going to use the Sephora Micro Smoothing Powder. Alyssa Ashley speaks very highly of this powder. So I have this in the shade Deep, and I think this is the darkest shade that it comes in as well. I'm just going to use this to set my overall face. And I know she uses a brush to do with this powder, but I'm really not a brush person when it comes to setting my overall face. Just because I have textured skin, I don't have like... We don't have the same skin type and 
whenever I use a brush to set my overall face, it tends to move the product around. So using a brush with my overall setting powder is just not my thing. I'm going to add some quick um, wing liner to my eyes. Very tiny on my lids. And I'm not using a new liquid liner, so no need to mention it. But um, if you guys are interested, it's the Forever 21 liquid liner. I'm going to use the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefits. And just brush my lashes out real quick. I'm going to go back into the Cheers to Beauty palette in this last color on the end called Raise Your Glass. It's um, kind of in the same family with this shade. It's just the shade down. Um, I'm going to, it's called Raise A Glass, not Raise Your Glass. Raise a Glass. And I'm just going to take this right on my lower lash line. I don't want my lower lash line to be too bright like my lips color. So that's why I went for this color. I'm going to tight line my lower lash line with just a regular black pencil. Then add a little bit of mascara. Or mascara. I really like this for my lower lash line. I don't like it for my upper lash line because my upper lash line, it needs something to really comb through and spread all the hairs out because it kind of clumps it up a little bit. That's the only thing I don't like about this mascara. I'm just going to use the Vegas Nay, um, these lashes. You guys have seen me use these plenty of times before. These lashes are no stranger. Um, for blush, I'm just going to be using this little... I wouldn't say travel size, I would say tester because this is so tiny. Um, I got this from Sephora, it's like a little tester when you get like a hundred points goodie bag or some nonsense like that. This is in the color Golu. It's like a really pretty pink shimmer color. Um, I'm just going to pop that on real quick. Because I think NARS blushes are just so bougie. Like, they're so damn expensive. And to tell you the honest truth, this compared to my NYX blush, I would prefer to use my NYX blush. Like, yeah. Just because anybody got no $30 to be paying for no damn freaking blush. Like, it's just blush NARS. Relax. I've had some highlight to my face. And I'm going to be using the M Reezy Times Anastasia Highlighter. I'm going to use it with my Anastasia A23 brush. And I love these waves. Like, yes. Yes, Reezy. Yes. Let's see how it looks on her skin tone. That's bright. Wow. Oh my god. That's crazy. I'm going to use this MAC um, Fix Plus today. This is in the shade Lavender. It smells amazing. Wow. That MAC Fix Plus smells really good. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add anything to my inner tear duct. Or should I add the Emreezy highlighter in my inner tear duct? Let me add it in my inner tear duct and see how it looks. Because of the color of it, it should look absolutely amazing in my inner tear duct. Let's see. But for my lips today, I want to test out this Anastasia lip palette. I'm going to use Cork from MAC. Um... I like the color. I think this is really good. This color would be really good when I'm going for like a nude lip. I don't think this lip liner is going to work for me. I don't know how it looks on camera, but it's not showing up a lot on my skin tone. So I'm going to take number 8 from the lip kit. It's kind of like nudish brownish color right here. It should look really nude on my skin tone. And I'm just going to take this on the lip brush that came with it and put it all over my lips. I've never used a lip palette before, so this is interesting. 
I had this um, thing that I wanted to, I had two things that I forgot to use. Oh, this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I've never used a brow gel before. I, what they say about brow gels is it's supposed to make your brows like stay into place and not move. I like this brow gel. All right, so that wraps up this video, you guys. I'm so sorry my energy is so low. I don't know why I feel down today. Like, I don't know why I feel so down. Um, Let's go over the products real quick, all the new products that I used um, today, what I like, what I didn't like, whatever the case is. So I'm going to start with the primer. Um, This primer right here, the Milk Makeup Primer, I'm not blown away by it. I'm not... I, it didn't do much for my pores. I don't know. If, I don't know. I'm going to continue to use this and then give you guys my update on it. But as for now, it didn't. It wasn't like a magical product for me. So that's how I feel about it. The same thing about the Dr. Brand's um, Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I got this little tester and I don't see it doing. I, don't, I didn't see it doing an amazing job for my skin either. Um, I feel like my elf primer that i paid like what five dollars six dollars for this is the hydrating primer and this is the poreless face primer i feel like i love when i use these those i'm, I'm not blown away but like i said it's my first time using them so i'm gonna give them a couple more tries and see how i feel about them but as for now they're not like oh my god products they're, they're they're just not at least for me um for the dior forever foundation i really really like this foundation because it kind of reminds me of the fenty foundation i love the color the color matched me perfectly this color and my mac nc50 foundation that match matches me perfectly i feel like is almost the same exact color so i really really like this foundation i love the packaging as well it's so sleek and so um um, it's so compact most foundations comes in a glass bottle which if you drop that foundation at any given time of the day of course it's going to break but um, this one I really really love the packaging because it's a really hard plastic so even if it's like getting squeezed up in your suitcase I don't see it squirting out at all and if you drop you can drop this I'm gonna drop it right now and it won't break and like I said I use this in the shade 50 so yeah I really really love this and then one more thing guys most foundations only give you one fluid ounce you get 1.3 fluid ounce in this foundation so I think that that's absolutely amazing for my very first Dior product I'm I'm loving this foundation as for the NARS um, concealer um, I like this concealer I don't love this concealer and the reason being um, is that I feel like after I blend it out it's not as full coverage as I would like I love a full coverage concealer like my Kat Von D concealer is one of my ride or die my OG like that concealer is like everything to me so this concealer I feel like gives you a full coverage when you put it on and after you blend it out this doesn't give you that full coverage it's really creamy really smooth but it's just not as full coverage as I would prefer um this bronzer from Estee Lauder I feel like as dark as it looks in the packaging it doesn't give you that rich nice um it doesn't give you that pretty rich look when you're bronzing your face like you know the um covergirl bronzer in ebony bronze i could see me gravitating towards that a lot more than i gravitate towards this let me compare the two and see how they look in the pan so i don't know if you guys can see but um this looks a little bit more red however this shade should have worked a lot better for me than it did even though when i changed the brush it kind of gave me the payoff that i wanted but yeah for 40 45 dollars or how much how much ever this costs i don't think it's a must have i think it's if you want to splurge on some expensive makeup products to try new things you can try it out but i don't think like it's like a must have like i feel like this for dark skin tone is a must have if you like reddish undertone bronzers if not then 
yeah I don't, I don't i don't feel like you guys need to get this the sephora micro smoothing powder i really really like this i used it a few months ago but i don't think this is the shade that i used this one and another shade is very very similar i think i like the other shade better but i don't know i'm gonna continue to use this shade and see how i like this shade but overall i think that this powder is amazing if you're looking for something to set your overall face i highly recommend this nars blush i prefer nyx let's just say that my amrezy highlighter like i don't know if you guys can tell how it looks now that it's like settling into my skin it looks absolutely amazing on my skin tone I know um, a lot of darker people were saying that it looks it looks too light on them it looks ashy on them however I did not experience that problem I absolutely love this highlighter and if you guys are thinking about picking it up I highly recommend it oh this Mac fix plus in lavender <laughs> I hate when I really like products so much because now I'm gonna have to try to get it in the full size and it's like Shelly that's way much more money that you're gonna have to spend as for my lips and this Anastasia lip lip thing I don't know how I feel I mean how does it look to you guys I'm using um, number eight which is like a nude for my skin tone I really like how it looks far away um let me see how it looks close up i mean it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad it's extremely lightweight it's not drying um it's not drying it's not moisturizing either i don't know if you guys know what i mean by that it's just i just feel like there's something there and yeah that imagine you having this lip kit and you really like the formula you don't have to go out and buy like a whole ton of other lipsticks because you get so much colors to choose from so that's one of the that's one of the advantages I would say about this lip kit this lip um this Mac lip liner in cork I feel like my sister and lighter would be perfect for this this lip color would be perfect for them however it's damn near my skin tone so I don't think I'm gonna be keeping this I think I'm gonna be returning this the benefits brow precisely my brow pencil this is really nice I love how it did my brows but I would not repurchase this pencil only because of the price um I think my NYX eyebrow pencil can do the same exact job if not better so yeah will I be repurchasing this no because of the price but I really liked how it worked it was nice but it's too expensive so oh my god you guys you know what I loved and I didn't even get it I didn't even purchase it I got it as a gift when I bought my highlighter this clear brow gel from Anastasia this thing right here is amazing like I've never used brow gels before like ever at all and I used it on my brows and my brows are now like they feel dry not dry as in like oh my god my brow feels so dry but they feel like like when something feels matte and what I like about it is that it's like a spoolie so what you do is just comb the hairs to make it look more natural you know that's about it for me babbling in this video um, I'm sorry that it was so long but I just wanted to come back and sit down and talk to you guys for a little while please don't forget to leave any questions down below that you would like to know about me um, my channel is not that big so of course I don't have like a lot of questions coming in but if I have about 15 20 questions I'll go ahead and film a Q&A for you guys if you guys want to know anything about me so yeah um, that wraps up this video you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget the usual and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.